Hunter Lawrence was crowned 250 East Supercross champion after his seventh win of the season as Saturday's Nashville Supercross officially put the championship out of reach for everyone else. 2023 has been a dominating year for Hunter so far, winning seven of the nine races and ending up on the podium every time. But the thought of even putting a season of this caliber together has long felt nearly impossible for the elder Lawrence brother. Podium that you didn't think this was possible, possible. You know, you did, couldn't even dream it. Was, was that true? Did you really not think this was possible? Or because a lot of kids grow up and think I can get there, I can get there. But was that hard for you to realize at at all points until now? Or, or yeah, just I mean, take me through that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I said that as a kid growing up, I can't say I dreamed of it as a kid because it was something I just watched on TV when you're a kid, especially in Australia. The sport's not that big there. <clears throat> you know, you kind of don't realize that you could have a career doing this and you're like, you know, my, like dad works and you're just going to get a normal job. That's kind of how life is. So it's only really, you know, since I left Australia to Europe that I was like, oh man, I'd love to to do this one day or achieve it but yeah as a kid growing up it was never like oh dude i want to be an ama supercross champion it was just like the guys you'd watch on tv get friends over on a saturday night it was just like so far away so uh yeah it's, it's crazy the journey to the top began way back in 2011 when then 12 year old hunter was selected to race for australia in the fim junior world motocross championship that day in italy on a 65 Lawrence would go 8-3 for 5th overall behind winner Jorge Prado Garcia. Crucially, it was the first real sight of Lawrence on a global stage, and he certainly laid down a strong foundation. He would return a further three more times to race Junior Worlds, finishing 14th in his first go on an 85, before breaking through with a moto win in 2nd overall in 2013. On that day, he even beat Prado, and another young talent by the name of Chase Sexton. His brother Jet would finally make it to the big stage in 2014 as he claimed the 2014 65cc Junior World Championship, while Hunter made his final Junior Worlds appearance in 2015 where he would end up third overall on a 125. Kawasaki Europe liked what they saw so much that they picked up both Hunter and Jet at the same time rolling into 2016, which permanently uprooted the Australian family as they all headed for Europe. Hunter battled for the EMX 250 crown that season, but a knee injury and surgery had sidelined him halfway through the year. Unfortunately, this would be an ominous foreshadowing. Despite the injury, Suzuki Europe went all in on the family, pulling both Hunter and Jet away from Kawasaki, moving Hunter to MX2 and Jet to EMX 85. Hunter battled injuries in 2017, but won the final moto of the season for his first MX2 race victory. Then came the key flashpoint in Hunter's career as he carried Australia to 6th overall at the 2017 Motocross of Nations, winning the MX2 class in the process. The very next day, the huge signing was announced. Geico Honda was bringing Hunter to the USA in 2019 onwards in what was ultimately a four-year deal with Honda that saw Hunter race with Honda 114 Motorsports in 2018 before beginning a three-year deal in the USA. Jet would sign with Geico Honda as an amateur just months later as well. Hunter ran into more small injury problems as well as mechanical issues in his final year racing MX2 in 2018, but the focus had fully turned to the USA anyway. He once again dazzled at the Motocross of Nations at Redbud in his first ride with Geico Honda, and the stage was set for his first big year in the US. Then he suffered consecutive collarbone injuries that sidelined him for Supercross, which was yet another tough blow in the injury department. He returned for Pro Motocross, winning two motos at High Point and Spring Creek, before late injuries sidelined him. The hits just kept coming as he tore his labrum and rotator cuff before Supercross in 2020 and would again need to sit out the season. While all of this hope that another young Australian would come do big things in the USA were dwindling, Hunter was left to watch from the couch as a young Australian would do big things in the US. After following his brother's footsteps around the world winning 85cc races, the Rena Lins titles, and the Monster Energy Cup amateur all-star race, Jet Lawrence came within half a lap of winning his third ever Supercross race at the Anaheim 2 Supercross in 2020. This happened before his brother could even make his Supercross debut, and suddenly all of the Hunter Lawrence hype had jumped to his brother's shoulder in what felt like an instant. For Hunter's sake, the COVID pandemic pushed the final rounds of Supercross back enough that he made his debut in June of that year, but the worst was about to come. At the second round of Pro Motocross a month later, Hunter's shoulder popped out at the Loretta Lins 2 National. 
After multiple trips around the world, this was just about the final straw for Hunter Lawrence. Thought you were a healthy 2020 outdoor opener about an hour from here at Loretta's, and then you thought that might be the end. So just tell me that story again. Yeah, it, uh, Wes actually pointed out, he goes, it's funny, dude, Tennessee, like Loretta's, I completely forgot it was even in Tennessee. And uh, yeah, 2020, I was, I was done. It was Cynthia, my dad, and, and Johnny in the, in the bunk of the Geico truck and just dislocated my shoulder for the second time. Need a fourth surgery within, gee, seven months. And I was, I was like done. You know, every time you get injured, you work so hard, you do extra to get back to where you believe and where you feel you should be. And, and then to just over and over again, get knocked down with injuries, times not even crashing, you know. I was in such a bad spot. And it was like, I'm like, I'm, I'm done. We'll just support Jet. Um, you know he's he's got he's got what it takes and and or just support jet and it was it was probably two or three days after that and I was like no okay I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna keep doing this so yeah a little uh, a little bittersweet um, you know this Tennessee Nashville not far from here was a place that almost broke me and uh, now today I win my first championship so it's uh, it's cool after going under the knife again to get his shoulder fixed Hunter came back in 2021 ready. Now with Honda HRC after Geico Honda closed its doors at the end of 2020, Lawrence began to thrive. Four races into the season, and in just his sixth start in Supercross, he won his first 250 Supercross at Arlington and rolled to third place in the 250 West standings. Then he kept building into Pro Motocross, picking up his first career overall win at Southwick and finishing third in the championship as well. His brother Jet, now an established frontrunner, won that 2021 Pro Motocross title. Hunter kept his head down and had a very successful 2022-250 West campaign, winning four races and narrowly finishing second in the title chase to Christian Craig. Over on the East, Jet would clinch his first 250 Supercross title. The summer of 2022 became a summer of Lawrence, as they often found each other battling at the front, with Jet once again getting the upper hand to claim his second 250 Pro Motocross title. All of this, as it turns out, would just be the precursor to one of the greatest 250 Supercross seasons of all time. Throughout all of the uprooting of his family at incredibly young ages, through all of the injuries that nearly brought it to an end, Hunter Lawrence finally had everything go right in 2023 Supercross. Seven wins, nine podiums, and a deserving number one plate. Most success stories in our sport have ups and downs. It's easy to look at 2023 250 Supercross East champion Hunter Lawrence and think, well, everything went right. But few stories feature the number of miles, the pain, and quite frankly, the family dynamic that Hunter Lawrence has lived through. Hunter and Jet have a very strong bond, and Jet was the first to greet Hunter after he sealed the title last weekend. But Jet was along for the ride at every step of Hunter's journey before becoming the leading Lawrence brother. This season, it was Hunter's turn to follow in Jet's footsteps, and somehow it appears to have made both of them nearly unstoppable forces. For Hunter, this moment might be the beginning of many years of wins and championship success, but it was also the very end of a story that started in a small town on the eastern coast of Australia that has finished with the Lawrence family truly atop the world in 250 Supercross.